We are Saturday morning for the Top Up Show. For all the viewers out there on Facebook or wherever you're watching us, uh, g'day Mark Lambourne, g'day Paul Daly. Thanks for joining us, Paul. Thanks, Lee. Uh, warm. Although, um, nice yeah, the the, uh, the wind, the flags when we were coming in, uh, Paul, up the top of the stand were, um, were a bit busy. The flags over there are quite limp, but they're low and protected. protected yeah. um, Gee, it's hard to say there's any wind, though. Well, it doesn't feel like there's any wind, but have a, those, have a look at those flags and you'll be thinking that... And the prediction of the wind. Okay. Well, it, it, it's a chance that wind will, will play some sort of role, Paul. What, if, it, if it gets up to 25 to 30 k's... Uh, from the direction it's going to affect horses, rails and run in the back straight and leaders as they're coming around the double turn here. Yeah. It's going to affect them? Yeah, it's going to hurt them. Okay, so we've got a true rail, guys. What are we looking for? Some blouses? Well, we'd like to think that. I haven't often seen blouses at Rose Hill for a, you know, a long time. We'll say that it could be a touch against leaders, at least, Okay. Uh, with the true rail. We've seen uh, two rails out. Oh, a clippy clop. What's going clippy on clop. here? Got horses everywhere. Oh. Could go and do the ma quick mounting yard there for us, Glenn. Jesus, oh, who's that? That's not Kathy O'Hara, is it? Oh, it's Winona. You'll win the first, Winona! Up you go, baby! It'll win. Little Winona Costin. The sway back in the first. Well, speaking of the first, um, um, firmers from yesterday, Ron Starr and Toulouse, uh, have had some interest. Um, Paul, I think you mentioned to me that uh, Toulouse is a horse of great interest to you in the first. Yeah, if there's support for it, Mark. It, its um, debut rating uh, is well and truly above all of these, uh, but then it put in two fairly substandard uh, ratings. So, look, if there was good money for it, that would sort of indicate to me that the stable's confident, uh, and that's a horse I'd probably want to back. But other than that, I'm sort of about seven to four to favourite. Um, Probably right. not interested in the race if, okay. if nothing happens in that regard. Yeah, I think the other, uh, the, uh, well, the three ranters are um, a bit more bullish about the favourite. So when you're given us way back. Oh, yeah, he's, we've lost Paul for a minute. He, he can't find his mouse. He's gone. <laughs> <laughs> this show is held together with plasticine. So if you want to get involved with us, email us, but bring plenty of plasticine with you. Look, I think Rod Stein will get the job done the first. There's young Winona walking the track. Not that that means anything, but... Um, Glenn, your fifth pick is, uh, is out the gate, so you you just can't breathe without that Friday morning show. Uh, what, number six? Yeah. Yeah, it was a minute. Uh, just yeah. common sense. I think Rod Stein will get the job done the first, Mark. You too. Um, now, uh, we're, the race two is quite scratching's affected, and Gresham is touching evens. Yeah, the stable mate, the announcement just went through. It's going back as well, the... Uh, Snitzel Day. Snitzel Day, it's going back. It's going to show no intent. So if you're one of the owners of Snitzel Day, enjoy it at the races today while you're as... Got no hope. And uh, you can watch the stable mate win. I don't know how he does this, Waller. How how do you keep control of four or five horses and all these owners? Gee, it must be a tough gig. All right, so what is it? Is, is the favourite straight to the front here? I think so now. Right. Well, it, it, at least it's it, it's no worse than a litmus test for the leaders on the card. If you know, if the track yeah. Yeah. is is going to make it a little bit hard for leaders, well, Gresham at even money is going to be a good test there in race. Gresham two. at even money in this race does seem short odds. Mm, Paul. Does. Yeah. Look, I'm much longer than that. I'm probably closer to two to one. Yeah. Um, is there an obvious play in the race? Maybe not. No. Maybe not. So. Uh, hang out there for Mounting Yard Mail, and you uh, won't be able to breathe without it. Race three, the highway, and um, once again, the soft one in the market is out the gate, my blue jeans. Okay. Uh, which means that the others have um, firmed accordingly. Yep. Uh, well, we no, mentioned on the Friday show it was no, a weak link. <laughs> no obvious, yeah, no obvious moves, just uh, tightening around the fact that my blue jeans has given way. Uh, Paul, um, anything obvious here? Oh, look, maybe uh, Mr. Smarty is one at odds that I could uh, entertain. Um, I think all the smarties around the traps have found Mr. Smarty. But. Yeah, probably. I mean, it, it's. Uh, I'd like to see it sort of hold a, a longer price at you know eight, nine, ten dollars. That's the market. Yeah, I think I think, you, I think you'll need price. all of that. Uh, I think you'll get that fall. Yeah. Well, it does look four hopes in front of it in the market, doesn't it? Oh, look, it's an open race. I, I'm sort of five eight, hopes even. Radiant choice, is, and it I've got marked equal, and then I've got my blue jeans Valray and. Dear DeRays and even Central Witnesses as chances. So it's a, it's a very open and competitive race. Um, race four, I think you gave it to another leader here, Glenn, which is which could be interesting depending on how the leaders go. Um, the, the firmer in the race is actually the John Thompson, third up love letter, been unsuited in two slowly run races back. Can you find a place for her at all, Paul? Oh, 20 to 1. All right, so no interest there. Not, not, um, not a race I'm terribly interested in. I mean, no chance, isn't there? It's two hopes. 
Yeah, La Chica Bella is, was a big advantage <coughs> last two. time, best part of the track, and, you know, it, it's probably about the market price. All right, and you suggested before. to me that So Splendid was quite short as well, so you must be able to find um, some action here. I can't really, that's the problem. I'm, I'm sort of about 11 to 4 La Chica Bella. And you have to stop doing these 80% markets. They're no, making it hard to get a, a bet. It's a 100% <laughs> market. I just, 9 or 2 So Splendid, and... Then I'm out to sort of a whole bunch of them, yeah. sort of all clustered together. So it's not there's, no, there's, there's no there's no obvious direction. So it's nice in the sun here, boys. It is. Yeah, it is, it yeah, is yeah. cracking day at this stage. Day. Get out to Rose Hill, honestly. You just bars. I just came out of the car and sprinted up here because I was late and like I didn't realise how lovely it was. Yeah, you're about to get all your gear off. Love and down life. to the cozies. Be down in me. G banger, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, the 1800 metre race, and um, somehow the scratching of strains <coughs> and everything firm. I'm, I'm not sure why. Um, but uh, nonetheless, it's still 11 or 2-ish the field, with perhaps the best firmer in the race, Colonel Jackson, at this stage. <coughs> Excuse um, me, guys. Very competitive race. So, Paul, you suggest to me you're quite bullish about one in this. Yeah, Chatelard is probably... Uh, one of your major players? ...the one going to make yeah, the best result of the day, uh, possibly on a, on a win and place basis. I'd like to think we could get sort of 7 or 4, 2 to 1 the place, but I mean, that, that might be a bit optimistic. It is a, uh, a wide betting race, so the place, well, the place odds should be reasonable here. Mm. I'm a bit bullish about the stable, mate. They're number 13, walk the streets. Yes, okay. Yeah, look, and there's half a dozen good chances here, and um, it promises to be a, um, well, a betting race, a betting heat, that's for sure. Uh, race All th- races are betting heats, yeah, well, Marcus. Uh, but, you know, when I say a betting heat, the, 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 there'll be some... Different angles. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, race six, Nurse Kitchen is one of the bigger firms of the day, $7 into $4.20. It was off the map of the football last night. People ringing up wanting 5000 on Nurse Kitchen. And all I kept hearing was phones ringing. What price is Nurse Kitchen? It, it was a massive go last night. <laughs> so the betting ring at the footy. A lot of betting at the footy. Don't worry about that. The thing I love about the right, footy... Right, so there's no can... com there, is there? I don't know. Some... The footy's funny. You go to the footy and like everyone's phone rings. Everyone's 30 and 40000 on things. And I think they want 30 and 40 on <laughs> People bet big on footy. Yeah. Paul? Madness. Yeah, no interest for me. Yeah, no interest for me either. Yeah, I, I suppose black and gold is uh, is a horse of some interest given uh, that he's, he appears to be coming right. Uh, does he need firmer ground than this, Glenn? Black Possibly. on gold? Possibly, mate. Oh, but, you know, is, is he just... Is he a number going around in a race of numbers and he's definitely got a chance at around the $6 well, mark? And who cares? Know, it was a good run the other day. I mean, he overcame a few negatives and... Um, the two was too meters. wide in the straight? Yeah, probably in the worst ground uh, there with I Am Serious. I mean, there's there's good form there, and the 2,000 metres is a, a little concern, and the, the soft the ground is a little bit of a concern, but uh, I suppose it'll... There's not a lot of depth in the race. No, Harper's Choice is a, is a good chance, and Dagny's probably too short, and I think Nurse Kitchen I'll be taking it on. Uh, it's got the DF, as you mentioned yesterday, Glenn, so you've, just, you've, you've caused movers and shakers all through the program so far. Um, race 7, uh, on, no, n- another bunch yeah, yeah. of numbers here. Um, any uh, interest in flow this morning? Not really. No, no, not, not much interest in the race full stop. Um, we, we're yet to get Chrissy's uh, tactic changes there um, with, uh, you know, he's got, uh, what has he got, five runners here? He's Pulled out Leah Pari. Um, perhaps, perhaps it's a race we just uh, skate on past. The 1100 metre race, um, Ozark and Best Guess, best, best firmers um, since yesterday. Uh, album has held his place. Three doubles looking um, shaky, as is the some of the some of the, some of the on-speed horses. Uh, Paul, have we got uh, insight here? Yeah, look, album is 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 a sort of a clear top pick in in an open race. You've you've got it, and then you've got a whole bunch, you know, six or seven or even eight runners that are all very close together. But I thought Viceroy at odds um, isn't hopeless with England uh, on, and you can forgive its latest run. Um, it's fourth up, but. It, it, I think it'll race well. So I think it'll race better than its current price, the 20 to 1 mark, I think it is, mm. roughly. So, um, yeah, I think it's some hope, but I mean, it's, it's not a race I want to get too involved with. Um, and moving on along the last race, well, here's the firmer of the day. Argent By the way, Gold. thanks to all the people out there that emailed us in. We got quite a few emails on who was going to win the uh, race, and I've got to who's say. Who's going to win the raffle? I'm not sure who's going to win the raffle, because <laughs> you haven't seen the result yet, but I've got to say the consensus of opinion by people out there, because we asked the people on Friday's show, can you email us, can you tip to us, and the consensus was that the, the, the biggest tick was Cathy off. Argentor was the main tip. Well, Argentor is $12 into $4.20, so <laughs> 11 to 1 into 13 <laughs> to 4. Really? Yes. I think that's just too funny. 
yeah, that's really funny. So uh, you got a position on it, Paul? I think you oh, were all over it last start, weren't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I took 40s for a decent result and it charged up on the fence there. And, it's like and the Glenster backing in Vinzabil last start and just can't stomach it today. You can't stomach it today at 420, can you? No, you can't. I, I can't. Look, I, I, I'm sort of four to one and uh, it, it was in the best ground. And, but the jockey's a big, big tick here. And uh, I think Mano Blanik's well under the odds. It's probably the worst value in the race for mine. I know it was very well back last time and uh, I thought it was pretty much suited by the pattern and I'm just not quite sure about the 1300. So um, probably not a race I'll get involved with. Looks a tricky race. Yeah, so um, look, it is it is one of those days actually. It's, um, it's a wide open Rose Hill winter Saturday uh, with the first two favourites set to run, uh, run sort of the shortest on the card. Um, Paul, I think you, you, you're leaning towards Chatelard as your play of the day. Yeah, uh, each way. I'm, what have I'm you got, Glenn? It's probably the one. Uh, I thought the first favourite would win Ron Star, and um, I want to get involved in the highway. Day. At this stage, I'm interested in Vita Rays and well, Valerie. Yeah, four and eight. Okay, that's, that's the top-up show. You can get involved with us. Um, and you're welcome to two weeks free when you start. Uh, just email me and I'll organise that. Um, we do four shows a week, one of which is uh, you're watching now, but uh, a review show on Monday and a preview show on Tuesday and Friday. We've got sets for all Sydney city meetings, plus uh, usually the Brisbane Mounting Yard Mail on Saturdays and a very good set from a very good man, John Walters, for the Melbourne Metro Saturdays. Today we're off the air with Ipswich. Uh, it's just a fiesta that uh, our man can't uh, can't can't get into. So um, no Brisbane Mounting Yard Mail today, but uh, we've got the Glenster sending out his best set today from Rose Hill, and we've also got uh, the Melbourne set, as usual, from Mooney Valley. Um, so come on board. We'd love to have you. There is actually a, um, set, uh, a race I did for Ipswich today, the eyeliner, okay. the Betfair. So you can get my analysis uh, on the Hub website, the Betfair, and my markets there. And there's there's one there I'm pretty keen to oppose. Okay. Case. Good punning. Thank you.